Hello, my name is Paul McNeil and I'm the Assistant Professor of English here at Ilisavik College. This video is going to go over something called a fused sentence. It's a common mistake students make in their writing. Please follow along and make sure to avoid placing fused sentences in your essays. Okay students, I want to talk to you about a common error that exists in a lot of your writing. Uh, and that type of error is called a fused sentence error. Fused. F-U-S-E-D. And it's called that because what a fused sentence error is, is when you take two sentences, two complete sentences, two independent clauses, and you fuse them together with no punctuation whatsoever. This can be hard to catch because a lot of times spell check will not catch this error for you. So for instance, if you see here, I'll do a spelling and grammar check and according to Word, this is perfectly fine. So Word is not perfect, spell check is not perfect, it will catch a lot of errors for you and you should definitely use it. And there is no excuse to include errors in your writing that spell check will catch. But sometimes you have to also use your brain and catch the errors that spell check will not catch. So these are two complete sentences. I completed my essay, I have not submitted it. Those are two complete thoughts. I is the noun in this sentence, completed is the verb. I is the noun in this sentence, have not submitted is kind of the compound verb there. So you can't fuse together two complete sentences without any punctuation whatsoever. So the easiest way to fix this is to just put a period right there and you've created two sentences and you can go on about your day. That is the easiest way to do it. Some people don't like this method though because they say it makes their writing sound too simplistic. I have two very short sentences here and I don't like the way that makes me sound. It makes me sound like a caveman perhaps. So fine. Yeah, uh, If you don't want to put a period there because you're afraid that your writing will have too many short simple sentences Another way to fix it is to add a conjunction. Um, and so conjunctions are words like and, but, or because. Uh, so if you want to do that, you can actually take a fused sentence error and you can make it into a more complex sentence. So the obviously the easiest conjunction to use here would be the word but. I completed my essay, but I have not submitted it. And you notice here, I put the comma here not after the word but, I put it before the word but. So that's the way to fix it. And or because, uh, you could also use those two words, but we'd have to add more words to a sentence in order for it to make sense. Um, if you just add the word and here, uh, this, the meaning of the sentence gets kind of vague and confusing. And certainly if you added the word because, the word make the, the sentence makes no sense uh, whatsoever. So the conjunction but is really the one that you would go with uh, here. So either way, these are the these are the two easiest ways to fix this type of fused sentence error. If you're told that you have fused sentences in your writing, make sure to use your course resources and course readings to learn more about fused sentences and try to avoid those errors in the future. Few sentences especially could make your writing look sloppy and you don't want to have that uh, especially in professional correspondence. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please check out the Ilisavik College Media Channel for more videos that should help in your academic progress.